So the final race of day one is the Ribblesdale Stakes, and it's a handicap 0 to 120 in the SO Civil. Still for three year old fillies there. At the top, we've got Barber Coas for Darren Thompson, Orleans, Paul Rhodes, Words as Weapons, Leon Van Rensburg, Lascivious for Padre Hogan, Petrovna Location, David Robertson, Rainbow River, Martin Leedham, Bridget for Craig Beckwith, and Olivia for Padre Hogan. So, can any of the trainers with two winners get a Day one lead and pick up a third, or will it be somebody else that pops up and wins it? They're in a way, and racing, Rainbow River on the near side in the purple and white stripes. Bridget with her white sleeves right over on the far side, but it's Barber Coas who might be just the only leader from Orleans. And Barber Coas then in the Sheikh Mohammed colours has gone off into the lead. Well, the Darren Thompson colours in SO7 land, and Orleans is second. Then comes Words as Weapons and Patron the location. Then comes Lascivious and Alalivia with Bridget and Rainbow River at the back but Barber Coas is in the lead by about three lengths then from in second place Orleans Petrovna location on the near side is third then comes Words as Weapons and Lascivious Wider on the track Bridget is next and then the back two are Anna Olivia and finally Rainbow River so Barber Coas bowling along in the lead Darren Thompson was the first trainer today to get that second winner will he be the first one to get the third Leads by four to Petrovna location in second. Then comes Orleans on the outside in third. Then after that one, Lascivious and Words as Weapons. Then Bridget and Rainbow River. And then Anna Olivia is after that one. Barber Coas in front. One or two of the big ones haven't got a winner yet. Paul Rhodes hasn't had a winner. I don't think Leon hasn't had a winner either. And Joshua Sullivan hasn't had one either. So it's Barber Coas in the lead from... Petrovna location in second, Orleans is in third, Lascivious on the outside is fourth, then comes Words as Weapons, then Rainbow River, Bridget and finally Anna Olivia, but they're pretty closely grouped then, as they've got four and a half foot on still to go, and Barber Coas bowling along in the lead, but now Petrovna location comes through to challenge, Orleans on the inside is third, Lascivious going well on the outside, four, then Anna Olivia, then comes Words as Weapons, Rainbow River and Bridget to the back, but they're still close enough and good enough, and Barber Coas will lead them into the straight then, three furlongs to go. Go. And Barber Coas still in the lead by two to Petrov, the location on the outside of Orleans. Lascivious is next. Then comes Anna Olivia. Rainbow River trying to run on Bridget on the outside. Words as weapons hit a flat spot, but it's still Barber Coas two to go. Barber Coas in the lead then from Lascivious. And Anna Olivia is now flying through. Then after that one comes Petrov, the location. Bridget is absolutely flying on the outside of the track, but it's still Barber Coas as they pass the furlong pole. Then Barber Coas is still in front from Anna Olivia. Lascivious Bridget. Here comes Words as weapons. Rainbow River still trying to run on but it's Barber Coas still in front Barber Coas but now Anna Olivia strikes and Anna Olivia takes it up Anna Olivia from Bridget as they go out the water and it's going to be just Anna Olivia just Anna Olivia from Bridget oh, Craig Beckwith is going to be a surprise leader at the end of day one with three winners but I think Padraig Hogan has got up and taken his second and and Olivia has taken it for Padraig Hogan. Bridget for Craig Beck with second. Words as weapons. Leon van Rensburg third. Petrovna location. David Robertson fourth. And Rainbow River ran on to be fifth. So at the end of day one, 13 races then. I think we've got Darren Thompson, David Robertson, Craig Beck with Padraig Hogan all on four. Oh, and, Crun, and also Graham Clutterbuck. So five of them on four on, on two winners then. And then three other trainers with one win.